Hi everyone, this is Greg from Greg's Whiskey Guide, or Grégoire, you might know my French first name. Uh, back for you in uh, still the temporary uh, connection mode, so with my phone. <laughs> um, I won't be able to be as long as I want, but uh, I try to give you a, a bit late. I couldn't do it yesterday, so it's uh, one day more delayed World Whiskey Day, so happy World Whiskey Day to everyone. Um, I gathered here several uh, World Whiskies to show you. Uh, I'm not going to try them all now. Uh, at some point they will all be reviewed. Some have been already mentioned widely. I also have a bunch of samples from Shelter Point, which I have now all tried once at least. And once my connection will be back, I will be able to uh, do a live show with uh, Leon Webb from the distillery. So uh, looking forward to, the, to it with uh, no less than 13 samples. Again, thanks to Food Quick Andy. What do I have here? This is an old bottling from McMyra from 2011, but it's a very nice one. It's the special number six. Uh, summer Meadow, Summer 2011, 46.8. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, but I tried it several times before buying it. This is the Star Wars Australian single malt. This is a French store pick, and this is a great whiskey. I awarded in uh, my Whiskey of the Year video. Uh, might want to have a look at it. I will put a link below. A uh, bottle I opened recently, Westland American Single Malt from the West Coast, and it's the pitted version. Do I have else here? I have the Hep Distillery Tarsis, which is the Sherid Single Malt version. I also reviewed in my Whiskey of the Year video uh, another bottle from them, and uh, two indie bottlings. Uh, using uh, the, the distillate from them, which is very good. And it was from Roborel de Climas. What do we gonna try today? It's a bit special. I thought it was interesting. I, as I didn't really uh, mention them a lot, except on my website. Uh, first, we're gonna try the Chita, which is Nika's distillery, uh, founded in 1972. So this is their, um, no, Suntory, uh, sorry, <laughs> Suntory um, company, so now Beam Suntory, so even wider. Uh, the, it's their single crane uh, called the Cheetah. Uh, this one is about 43% ABV. And then we're going to try something uh, rare uh, that I didn't know until uh, some time, 100%. Uh, German rye from the Stork Club. Uh, I think it's the name of the distillery or yeah, Stork Club. Um, this comes in a 50 cl bottle, 55% uh, ABV, by the way. So, yeah, uh, a quick um, quick video to celebrate whiskey world whiskey day so i hope uh, you have a world whiskey to celebrate by world whiskey here you understand of course i mean non-scottish because scottish dominates a bit the uh, the fame and the, the um, let's say uh, celebrity today of whiskey of course there's lots of other the founding nations of whiskey which were first ireland scotland uh, the United States and Canada, and then Japan, and then France, if we go on to 1987 for France. Um, and then a lot of other countries came in. Um, but I thought it was interesting to do a, a slightly uh, different review. And um, I'm not going to go into much distillery details and stuff. Uh, just tell you this is made, the cheetah is made with three different 
qualities or uh, varieties of uh, grain and recipes because they do a lot of recipes in, in Japanese uh, key main distilleries they, they do a lot of different uh, recipes and ways of distilling, fermenting etc and then, then they mix them uh, to get what they want so often something balanced, elegant and complex uh, so this is this one, one of the best even if it's no age statement, it doesn't really matter here. Uh, it's one for me of the very best single grain of the world. This and the beans from South Africa for me dominate uh, every other country's single grain. When stated as such, uh, otherwise we have beautiful Canadian uh, grain whiskies or major with grain whiskies, for instance, the Wises. Okay, so on to the nose. You can see very clear color. It might have some caramel there, I'm not sure. Beautiful right away. Vanilla and praline, praline notes, some kind of a, not toffee, but a French pastry note. So this is kind of slightly buttery as well. Beautiful, very delicate, very complex. I know the barrel recipe is a bit uh, complex, uh, if I'm not mistaken. A sm Spanish oak and ex wine cask as well. Uh, yeah, um, I have it on my website. But it's not about all knowledge here and uh, many information, it's more about celebrating something quickly. Um, so beautiful, complex nose, very rewarding, uh, a really beautiful one. Onto the palate, cheers, kampai. <laughs> Lots of creaminess, sweetness, slightly bitterness in the in, in the end. But overall, a great, very subtle, very elegant, very complex experience. Everything is superbly melted. The vanilla, the pastry notes. Almost some kind of a... Well, what I call by praline, it's not the same note, but... It's getting close to peanut butter, if you like, in a way. And you have also, really the corn shines through very, very beautiful. It's, it's very subtle. The wine influence is very, almost undiscernible. It just brings on some very tiny red fruit on the background, but it's almost subliminal because you know it. Beautiful. I'm gonna try with a few drops of water. Yeah, it's 43% ABV, so gotta be careful. I know this one swims well on ice and with a high high ball, etc. in a cocktail, but I like to have it neat. Mmm. That praline note, praline, I think is English, really uh, shines there. Um, you got some nuttiness, um, some hazelnut, some walnut. So, so, so all the, the dried fruits towards everything nutty are also there. Elegant, complex. Very long, but very sweet and, and subtle. Uh, it's, it's not as bold in a way as the beans, despite the different ABV. But highly recommended. It's a bit expensive here, around 60 euros. I don't know abroad, but really recommended. Onto the Star Club now. It's the 100% rye, foolproof rye, it's in the name. I know they have also a pitted version. 
uh, it's, it comes in 50cl, uh, aged in small, uh, made in small batches from locally grown rye. Uh, it is took its place in little toasted barrels of American and German oak. Um, yeah, uh, not going to be long, but for those who don't know, uh, without the Dutch and the Germans, there won't be any rye in the United States. So they brought uh, first uh, the rye culture there uh, and in other countries as well. So I think it was good to uh, pay them justice and speak a bit about their own rye. Okay, so this is darker, doesn't say about caramel coloring and as it's German and normally, if I'm not mistaken, it would be mandatory to state it. So I think we can assume it is not colored. See, beautiful amber color, slightly uh, going mahogany reflections. So the nose is a bit subdued. There's something almost sulfur in there. It's a bit strange. It's not the most appealing nose, but the palette is better. So it's again a different type of rye than the United States one, for instance. If I can be saying that, it's a generality. Yeah, you get the spice little by little. You have to let it breathe. I didn't let it breathe very long. On the palette, you have something, some kind of, I won't say Campbelltown funk, but it's not far. Some kind of rubbery, um, Diesel-y note on the on the background, but not so much on the background. Almost starts the the hostilities, if I may say, by this note. And then the ride, it's very subtle, a bit creamy as well. So there's a connection between those two. Yeah, this one needs time, so I'm rushing it a bit there for the video. I'm sorry. I will come back to it individually. When my connection will be fully re-established. Okay, now second sip, the rubbery side turns on uh, more to, um, I would say, leathery and a bit spicy uh, tone. Uh, notes, I mean. This is, <clears throat> this is not unpleasant, sorry. This is just different. By the way, I would be curious of a uh, Glen Scotia or Springbank um, special bottling experiment with a rye finish. I wonder what will it be doing to the, the Campbelltown style. Just saying. Now, with a few drops of water. Oh. Okay, some fruitiness, dark fruits. Some... Maybe some cloves now, a nutmeg. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's better with a few drops. The rye bread is not preeminent, it's just in the background. So rye spices. Rye kind of sweet acidulous uh, thing. But there's something almost dusty uh, with this one kind of reminding me but less minty of the few spirits American but it, it has really its its own style okay okay so that's it it was just a, a, a quick word whiskey day tribute hope 
you uh, a great day and see you soon. Cheers.